Hi, this is Wicket, as in cricket, and he's got a problem that we see moderately often in, in puppies. And he's one of the younger ones we've seen it in lately. So I thought he was a nice case study for us. And he's also a slightly different breed to, to the dogs we see it in. So he's a Maltese. Uh, we often see this in Bull Terriers and Staffies. We do see it in small dogs like him. Uh, but less so. So let me show you what's going on. And Wicket has a jaw lock. So this is where two teeth are locking. And he doesn't like his mouth being looked at. I'll show you this a little bit later again under anaesthetic. But if you have a look, I'll do it this side, it's easier for me. So if we look at his <sighs> incisor teeth, We have a look right there at those incisors, that big one's the canine, but you can see that lower tooth there is locking, so the lower canine is locking on the upper corner incisor there. And exactly the same thing here, that lower canine is locking on that upper corner incisor. And you can already see that that upper corner incisor, let me just put him down and close the door. I'll grab this model. So what's happening is this, and then there is baby's teeth, okay? There is baby teeth. They are going to fall out. Um, so what's happening is the lower canine is locking with the upper corner incisor and pulling it like that. Now, I saw him about late last week, and there was a lock happening, but these, the upper corner incisors were sitting normally. So even in four or five days, they've gone like this. Now, the, there's a couple of problems here. Because these two teeth, this tooth, or these four teeth, you know, this tooth and this tooth on both sides are locking, the bottom jaw can't grow. The, the bottom jaw, jaw grows longer than the top jaw comparatively, and it continues to grow for longer as, as puppies age before it stops growing. And so having a tooth lock like that will slow down the growth of the jaw and cause problems with his TMJs and all sorts of other things. And the second problem, obviously, is the pain that's caused by this tooth um, coming out like that. So what he's here for today, and we'll show you, is we're going to pull this. So we've got four teeth that incriminated, the lower canines and the upper corner incisors. If you look at it realistically, these are important teeth. The incisors are a lot less important. So we'll sacrifice these upper corner incisors and we'll pull them out. These are temporary teeth. Uh, we, and, and we will uh, then watch what happens. So that pulling those out will release the jaw lock and the jaw will immediately start to grow properly again. And then we will watch what happens when he drops or loses his uh, temporary canines and what will happen when his permanent canines come through and when his permanent upper corner incisors come through. If the same thing happens again, in other words, if the permanent start to lock, then we'll have to make another plan. This is step one in, in, in a plan. But hopefully his bottom jaw will be able to grow so far forward that it'll miss these upper corner incisors and that he won't have a lock. But we don't know that it's going to happen. That's what we're hoping will happen. So these baby teeth are of no concern. He's not going to miss losing them. We have to be really, really, really careful when we pull them out, though, because the um, permanent teeth are sitting just underneath the, the, the baby teeth, and we'll put a, an elevator in. I'll show you this in a minute. We'll put an elevator in to to lift up, elevate, uh, lift up these teeth and then to pull them out. And you have to be very, very, very careful when you do that. You don't damage the enamel on the permanent tooth that's sitting underneath that. And that can be quite easy to do and we're going to make sure that we don't do it. So this is a, a, a relatively common problem in many breeds of dogs, like I said. Um, he's a little bit young, but that's okay. That's why he's an interesting case study. If you've got a young puppy, make sure you examine his or her teeth really, really regularly and make sure that you don't get a jaw lock. If there is a jaw lock there, then you need to go see your vet.
And realistically, your vet is going to examine your puppy at the eight week vaccination, the 12 and the 16 week vaccination and examine the mouth thoroughly and make sure that nothing like that is happening. So I'll see you shortly again in surgery. All right, so here we are again with Wicket. If you come in, I'll show you where these teeth problems are. And it's this lower canine is impacting this upper corner incisor on both sides. If you have a look at this arcade of incisors here, you can see this one's already been pushed up that way and rotated um, like this. So this is rotated out. If you have a look here, you can again see that that one is not sitting in a line with the others. It's been pushed up, and that's because it's locking on that lower canine there. So we're going to very gently and carefully remove that upper corner incisor, that upper corner incisor, and then check him every two to three weeks while the permanent incisors come through and the permanent canines come through, and then we'll reassess. So a very minor surgery at his um, very tender age of uh, 14, 15 weeks of age, uh, but it could save him... Um, 15, 16 years of constant mouth ache because of that jaw. Hope this has been of interest. See you on the next video.